Exiles, and today we're going to be going through the new Path of Exile skill tree. Now, as you can see in the background here, this has now been revealed. Now, bear in mind, this is potentially subject to change, so do not take this video as gospel. It may change before release, so just bear that in mind. But this is how the tree is looking for Path of Exile 2 as it stands right now. Now, I'm going to go through it in a little bit more detail in a second, but before we get there, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's subscribed. If you have not subscribed, guys, and you have enjoyed my videos, then throw us a subscribe, throw us a like, throw us a comment. What's your thoughts on how does this tree look? Does it look bigger? Does it look smaller? Or does it look messy? What's your comments on it? And I will go through my comments and what my opinion is of it in a minute. But let's crack on. So, first things first, I have noticed straight away that everybody starts from the middle. So we're just going to zoom in here. So as it is in the Path of Exile tree, where obviously you would start like up in the top left, in the middle, bottom left, bottom right, bottom far right, top right. Everybody starts from this circle. And obviously, depending on which class you pick will depend on which node you will start on. So, for example, this far left one up here, I feel will possibly be the witch. And the one on the right here will be the sorceress going so on and so forth round the tree here. So as you can see, there is 12 starting points on which you will start from, which is these 12 points that connect to these circles. Then, as you can see, going outwards, it then kind of goes out. Now, the initial points here are quite messy. There is a lot of points there. There is a lot of nodes, and I think that is to gain access to some early damage. But what I have noticed, and I have detailed this for you, is just by looking at this, there is three inner rings, as you can see here. There is an inner ring here, which takes around about 10 points to get to, to the inner ring. Then there is a middle ring. Now, within that middle ring, there is a few keystones. There is no keystones inside this inner circle here. They're all either contained within the middle circle or the outer circle or even beyond. So there is no, like, very good power, uh, uh, power nodes in the initial inner circle. Now, what I also then did is I then decided to then have a look at the tree in a little bit more detail. Now, one thing obviously I did mention in my last video is that they have decided to kind of create these like effects of the clusters to look like the skill. So down here on the right here, we have what looks like a spear, which I can only assume is for the huntress. There is a bow here for the ranger. There is a mercenary crossbow down here. There is a sword down here, which will be for the duelist. On the top right up here, there is a staff, which can only imagine is for the monk. And then further up here, we have some claw shaped uh, clusters, which I can only imagine is for the shadow. Going up here, we have a bunch of, I think this is supposed to look like a fireball. This is supposed to look like a snowflake. And this is supposed to look like a streak of lightning. So this is your fire, cold and lightning. Now we know that this is cold and this is lightning from the Exile Con showcase. But this just looks like a bit of a fireball. So I'm going to say that this up here and, and to the right is all the sorceress elemental nodes. Now to the left here, I think this is going to be the minion side because this little dude up here looks like a little man. I don't know if you can see that. He's got a little head, his arms and a body. That looks like a, like a zombie of some sort there. And if you've not noticed, there is what looks like a scythe or like a sickle type weapon here shaped in this cluster effect here. Going round, there is obviously round here, there is then what looks like a claw. This claw, I think, would be for the druid. So I'm going to assume that this all around here is the druid effect and the druid nodes. And then this section around here would then be for the Templar, where there is like a shield here, which will possibly for, be like for the guardian. If there is a guardian ascendancy, things like that. And then down here on the far left, there's a lot of boxy shapes, a bit of blocks. Maybe for bonking, I don't know, but this is the warrior and the um, the other class that obviously is down here. I can't remember the name at the top of my head. Marauder, that's the name, got it. So that is how the tree is set out at the moment. Now, what I did do, just to help you out, is I did actually have a look at the tree, and I went round and I marked off every single keystone, and I noticed something very peculiar. Have a look. So all the red dots are all the keystones. So there's a ton at the top here for the witch, and for there's a few for the shadow and for the monk. 
There's a few over here for the Templar, the Druid, the Warrior, the Marauder, the Duelist, uh, for the Mercenary. But this section down here where the Ranger and the Huntress is, is completely void of Keystones, which is very, very weird. And I'm wondering whether that is because maybe they have enough power or whether it's just because they just didn't want to put any down there. So if you are going to want any Keystones for the Ranger or the Huntress, you are going to have to travel to go and get them. Next thing I then did is keeping all these keystones on screen. I then went and highlighted every single gem socket that is on screen. And again, I noticed something peculiar. So everything has in these diagonal lines, there is always one halfway up and one at the end of the tree, i.e., which could be for clusters, but it's not been confirmed whether cluster jewels are in PoE, PoE2 yet. We don't even know whether Delirium is going to be in PoE2, but as you can see here, there is a jewel socket en route through the middle. So, and that is all the way around. So we have one here, we have one here, then one at the end, one here, then one here, and one at the end, one here, one here, one at the end, one here. However, one at the end, there isn't one this is very this is a bit weird this every single path that there is a branch off to the clusters like up here so you see this example here there's always one on the same path so there's one here 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 and here apart from this line here which is very weird and i don't know whether this is maybe they've missed it maybe it's a design choice but there was only one dual socket on this middle uh, west path again i don't know why they've done that it could be they just forgot to add it in but it's you've straight away got a bit of a disadvantage there with dual sockets so just bear that in mind this is by the way is going to be the templar region now what i have done as well just for a, for a final image for you guys is i have split the tree up in what i feel it's going to look like so the top section here is going to be for the sorceress and the witch top right section here is going to be for the monk and the shadow with the claws and the staffs ranger and huntress is this bottom right section the mercenary and the duelist is down at the bottom down here the warrior and the marauder is down at this bottom left section and then the top left section here is for the druid and the templar that is how it seems to be and that is the diagonal lines that i have drawn these on they are the paths that the dual sockets are on apart from this one here which is a bit of a weird bit of a weird reason why what I will do is I will put a link to in the description to this entire tree just so you can have a look at it and you can zoom in as well. Credit as well to the guy who made this on Reddit. He did actually combine a bunch of imagery from Gamescom and combine all of these together so we could actually see what the actual tree looks like. So thanks to him. Thanks to the Reddit guy. Um, and if you want to have a look at it, like I said, the link will be in the description. What's your thoughts on it, guys? What do you think about it? Why do you think they've done this with the dual socket? Why is there no keystones down in the bottom right corner here? Seems to be kind of clustered at the top here. So the witch, templar, druid, sorceress have got a good selection up here of keystones, whereas huntress and ranger don't have any. So, yeah. So yeah, so what's your thoughts, guys? You know, is it a good tree? Do you think you're happy with it? Do you not happy with it? Is it something that you can't wait to get your hands on and see what all the nodes are? And I can imagine that the path of uh, building guy right now is working his <laughs> working his nuts off trying to build this in path of building. So, POB guy, take my energy. <laughs> anyway, guys, just a quick video just to show you the tree. And thank you for watching. Stay sane.